Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And today we're doing yet another full laptop setup. And it's really simple. You just insert your own laptop here and we do the rest of the work for you. A lot of people are getting into gaming laptops right now because they're readily available and are at pretty decent prices. So what if you wanted to make a full setup? Well, we got you covered. But before we dive into all the stuff that makes up the setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Lexar, your one-stop shop for all your storage needs. Today we are looking at the Hades RGB RAM kit featuring absolutely beautiful RGB, capacities up to 32 gigabytes, and super fast 3600 MHz speed that is rock solid stable, making it perfect for your next Intel or AMD gaming rig. But don't forget that Lexar has SSDs as well, like the NM620, with read speeds up to 3300 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 3000 megabytes per second, and capacities of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and 1 terabyte. If you're looking to build a new PC or just upgrade your rig, then definitely consider the Hades memory and NM620 SSD by checking the link down below. And special thanks again to Lexar for sponsoring today's video. So once again, all of the stuff here besides the laptop is $300. That includes cooling pad, mouse mat, keyboard, mouse, headset, and a very nice high-end Pixio monitor. Um, and if you want to throw in the laptop as well, well, this laptop's around 700 bucks. It's actually a really cheap budget gaming laptop that really can play everything. So this whole setup right here, a thousand bucks, and you are ready to game, maybe do some streaming. Obviously, this is amazing for office work and home theater setup, so it can do it all. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is talk about this laptop again. This is probably the third time we talk about this laptop because it's such a great deal. And then go over all the stuff that makes up this full laptop setup. So this laptop, I actually got a task manager conveniently pulled up on this beautiful 27 inch Pixio monitor. We have a Ryzen 5 5600H, which is a six core 12 thread and it's an H processor, it's not a U. So you're getting some very strong performance with this guy. I mean, look at that, a full six core 12 threads. We're at 3.3 gigahertz right now, just base speed and this thing, will boost to some crazy gigahertz. We have eight gigs of RAM. Now this is really like the one drawback with this laptop is it's only one 3200 megahertz stick of eight gigs. So obviously we've always recommend going with two so you can have dual channel. For the storage, we have a 256 gig SSD. Yep, 256 gig. And it's just like a Western Digital. I'm gonna assume that's probably an M.2. This laptop really should have some other upgrades as far as storage goes. So I'm sure you could easily add like a one terabyte SSD later on. Obviously we have Ethernet hooked up right now because we want the best performance. GTX 1650 with four gigs of dedicated GPU memory. It's pretty much just a standard desktop 1650 really that's uh, soldered in. This does come with the Radeon Vega graphics built into the 5600H. So one thing that's really nice is we can go over to here and uh, the battery right there. There's the battery. And you can actually lower the performance like best battery life. And that will actually make it to where you're running off of the integrated Radeon graphics rather than the nice 1650 if you're just trying to do some office work or you're on the go. But obviously when you're on the base station, the home station, you're always gonna be plugged in ready to game. So you just wanna have that enable the best performance. Now for everything that makes up the setup. First over here, as you can tell, we're using a laptop cooling pad. This is the AccuSun or basically the most popular uh, laptop cooling pad that is available on Amazon. Once again, links in the description down below. Be affiliate links and does help us out. The main reason we got this is one, we get a little extra cooling and two, when you're using a setup like this where you're docking your laptop and wanna use an external monitor, you get that extra height to actually be able to use both monitors still and not have to waste it when you plug it into, well, the secondary screen. So that's really cool to have. And in terms of cooling performance, it'll help you a little bit. It really only helps with super high-end laptops and very weird use case scenarios, which we did a video that never went live on the channel. And that's why this is here because it was kind of a weird test. But regardless, they're still cool in terms of making things a little bit cooler. Now for the monitor, we have this good old Pixio, which monitor is this? The PX273, which is a 1080p 165 Hertz monitor, which the HDMI on this laptop does support 1080p 165. 165 hertz. So we have a 120 hertz screen right here and a 165 hertz screen, which is really awesome. Very, very nice, pretty picture. 27 inches once again, um, and it's a good upgrade from your just standard, uh, well, basically, I think this is a 14 inch laptop or no, 50.6 inch laptop screen. So you definitely have much more room to have a good gaming experience. 
Now for all the peripherals. Let's we'll go over this mouse pad real quick. This is kind of like a, a RGB looking mouse pad. There's a lot you can buy on Amazon that are around the same price, like 20 bucks or less. You get a bunch of different designs and they come with a really awesome smell. I'm just kidding. It's not the greatest smell in the world. You're gonna wanna air this thing out for a little bit, um, that printing smell, but it's good. It looks nice. It's really cool. Um, in terms of the peripherals, we have this Habit keyboard, mouse, and headset combo, which is an absolute steal. Comes with a mechanical keyboard with a wrist rest. They are blue switches. So there's your blue switches. Um, it is full size, so it's not normal 10 keyless, but it has everything you need to get up and running. In terms of a mouse, you have a well, just standard little gaming mouse with a DPI uh, switch, and I think you can change the LEDs. Yep, you can go from RGB to whatever LED mode you want, but who wants to get off RGB? Let's be honest here. I mean, it is a standard size mouse, and it's pretty good for the money. And then the headset, definitely, I believe, the cheapest part of this setup. It's nothing special, but it will give you audio through headphones. If you just have headphones, you really don't need a headset like this but it also gives you that microphone functionality, which again, you could just use the webcam on your laptop with a microphone for doing video calls, but if you're wanting an external setup with like a webcam and a good microphone, this would be a good option. But yeah, 300 bucks, you could plop your just crappy laptop on this and have a pretty good setup. Or if you have a gaming machine that you're wanting to get the full desktop experience out of, then yeah, definitely consider this. So what we're gonna do is dive into some testing, play a couple games, and just show you how well this thing actually works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to hop into Apex Legends. We're just gonna be on arenas. Uh, to show you guys the settings real quick, we have full screen, 90 20 by 1080. Uh, we do have VSync disabled, so we can get that maximum FPS. Not that it's gonna go very high. I mean, if we're being honest, we're on medium low settings. I'm gonna guess like 100-ish FPS, give or take. So we're definitely not gonna be utilizing that 165 Hertz, but at the end of the day, that's kind of just like a generic number. Now, the thing I wanna point out that I don't know if the camera yeah. can see is this mm -hmm. little- Yeah, they can see the bungee. It's a doorstop. Not doorstop. really a doorstop, but this is actually a mouse bungee. We totally forgot about it. Luckily, it's not a really important part of the build. It was like eight bucks. Um, we just had some extra money in the budget, so we're like, let's add this. But also, one thing you can tell as Jax gets ready to get in the match here, we have a stream up. We got Ninja, uh, whatever oh streamer. You know, that's the point of having the secondary screen. He's like freaking out. Dude, right yes, now. he's having a fit. <laughs> he um, is having a fit. But uh, we have that up just to show that having the two screens here allows you to watch streams, do some streaming, and be able to game on the main display. All right, so we are in now, and of course we've done a full benchmark video on this laptop. It is capable of playing most games at 60 FPS. Um, on a 165 hertz screen, it's not necessarily, oh, that was right there. It's not necessarily a uh, great thing, but, um, oh God, he's gonna get some kills though, regardless. If you're over 60 FPS, you're taking advantage of a high refresh rate experience. Like a guy oh, right in front of you. Dude, this mount, oh, you know what? Oh, is there? I know what's wrong. The peel's still on it. <laughs> Man, I'm just like, something about this mouse just is not Good. Uh, low HP. No, oh, no dude, I got, I got it off. Got caught with the shields. Bro, bro. Clutch or kick? Clutch or kick? Oh, he's getting oh, kicked. Oh, he's, he's kicked. Done. Well, he's time for. to get him out. Get him out of here. Get him out. But uh, yeah, also one thing, you could make this a lot cheaper with just any normal 1080p, like 27 inch monitor that's not super high refresh rate. And you could spend like a hundred bucks instead of the close to 200 bucks that you'd spend on this monitor. Um, that is something you can do. But of course we wanna have upgrade ability with this setup and give you a wide range of different options, especially if you, if you have a high-end gaming laptop. Easy. <laughs> oh! Bro, that was both of them. Oh, there. They're trying, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> nice try, nice try. See, the real strat there would have been to like res or heal, but we, we don't do real strats here. We don't do real strats. Mm -hmm. And Ninja's playing Fortnite. <laughs> Another thing to touch on with this laptop, as we mentioned in the beginning, single channel memory, adding another stick would definitely improve your frame rate. So um, yeah, do that if you uh, want to get um, well, more performance with this laptop. Do it if you want to be better. If you want to be a better gamer. Where's, where's Nate? We're gonna go for the Peacekeeper attempt again. Why oh, is this guy okay. always trying to punch, dude? He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna do it to you again. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's, he's, he's I'm done. Run I'm and done. heal. <laughs> no. 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 
But uh, yeah, there you go. As you can tell, you can play Apex, but let's go ahead and play a slightly lowering game, Valorant, that Fortnite. will actually, yeah, Fortnite, but <laughs> Valorant, that will give you probably close to that 165 FPS. So let's get it. All right, guys, the next game we're gonna be testing is Valorant. We're gonna dive into a deathmatch lobby. And I imagine this game, you'll get closer to that 165 FPS. So you can fully take advantage of this awesome monitor from Pixio. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna dive into this match and see how it performs. All right, guys, we are now in Valorant and we're looking at a 90 to 100 FPS, which is definitely a bit more than what we had when we were playing Apex. So still starting to take advantage of that 165 hertz screen. But again, most of the lower FPS numbers has to do with the RAM situation on this laptop. So definitely upgrading that in the future would be a good idea. Um, but we're gonna continue to run around, try to get some kills and uh, see what we can do here to get some uh, good content for you guys on this mouse, man. But yeah, this is a good setup for playing games like Valorant, CSGO, Rocket League, things like that. Um, and of course, depending on your laptop, you'll get the performance of the laptop that you're using. So in this example, we are using a budget friendly laptop, but adding something like a, well, 3060 laptop for like 12 or $1,300 paired with this monitor, it'll work absolutely beautifully. As long as the HDMI on that laptop does support HDMI out to 165 Hertz, you can just get some awesome headshots and have no problems playing this game. So I wanna run around a little bit longer, try to get some kills. Oh, that guy pre-fired. That was awful. No, we're not. We're not letting that be the last life. Urgh! Okay, that was the last life. But hey, you got Ninja. You got this. I'm actually, you know, I'm kind of curious. Let me see if I close this out. Actually, yes, it did. We gained 20 FPS by closing out Ninja. Ninja lowers your FPS, question mark. But I think it has to do with the uh, the RAM limitations here. Yeah, um, you have single. eight gigs, single channel eight gigs in. It also does take two gigs of that RAM <laughs> for the APU. So you're very limited on RAM. But um, yeah, as you can tell, performance got a lot better. Definitely taking advantage of that 165 hertz a lot more now um, than we were before. Uh, Look, it makes you a better gamer too. It does. Apparently, it does. So uh, yeah, if you're running streams in the background, it will limit your performance a little bit, but more RAM would probably alleviate that issue. And we're just gonna kill this guy real quick. And, and, we're done. and he was staring. It's right there, it's Dude, whatever. He was waiting. But uh, he yeah, footsteps. there we go. There is uh, this um, laptop setup. Let's wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, so the setup overall worked out really well. As you can see, one thing to kind of note is that with the RAM limitation of only eight gigs in single channel and the Vega graphics stealing two of those gigs, you only have six available. Now, if we're being honest, most games nowadays use like six to eight gigs. That's what they really like to have. So when we had our Ninja stream pulled up on the side, we did lose around like 10 to 20 FPS in every game. Uh, we tested that at the very end of the benchmark. We're not gonna go back and re-benchmark it because it still did great. And that's not really what this is about because while well, there's a good chance you're not gonna have this exact laptop for this setup. But just keep that in mind that most laptops do steal some memory for their dedicated graphics. But overall for $300, I think this is a great plug and play solution for your gaming laptop at home. We'll leave some suggestions for gaming laptops down below along with a bunch of other peripherals that we have right here. Links down below will be affiliate links and they will help us out. But we're very uh, happy we were able to do this really cool setup in a market right now that's very laptop heavy. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, if you don't want to have to go out and piece together every single part for this setup, you should check out our website. PCBros.tech is our PC selling business. We sell gaming rigs, office PCs, and full setups. If you're local to the Louisville, Kentucky area, or you want to make a little bit of a drive, come by to our store and you can pick up this whole setup probably. So yeah, stay tuned for that. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out. We actually probably could offer shipping on this one. Yeah.